Well, hello. Today we're going to talk about feminism, Batman, and mental health. Today I'll be doing my review of The Killing Joke, the new animated feature by DC based on Grant Morrison's graphic novel. So first off, let's address the elephant in the room, which is the new chunk of the story that wasn't there before, which I actually thought was kind of cool at first. They gave Barbara Gordon, aka Batgirl, Commissioner Gordon's daughter, a new role to play which was critiqued in the first one for not giving her enough agency and she's just this thing to be dangled around and messed with which is not cool if you're you know like a feminist or you know a person who doesn't care for two-dimensional characters in any genre so they gave Batgirl this role where she would be Batman's sidekick in training which is you know something we've seen before as expected Batman does not give her the approval that she wants, and he is the authoritarian figure in her life, and she is obsessing over his approval. And then, she gets his approval finally by putting him on his back, both physically and metaphysically, if you know what I'm saying. And I'm not even mad at that, because Barbara Gordon should have desires and passion and romantic feelings, and if it's for this guy that she's around all the time, that's, you know, realistic. But then, they throw this, you know, sexist stereotype at her. Batman! Oh my god, you're not returning my phone calls! Batman! Oh! What's so different? Oh, call me back! It's a waste of the character's development in putting meat on the story. So then we run into the problem where she finally gets this empowerment and blows it. And then she even quits being Batgirl after coming to the edge of the abyss where you just become this cold asshole like Batman is. I want her to keep fighting. I want her to be that symbol of hope that she usually is, that joyful spirit that we know Batgirl to be. So then we get into the actual part, which is the Killing Joke novel, Acts 2 and 3, push Act 1 aside and say, okay, now the event is begun. All that nonsense, you don't need it because Barbara Gordon has been BAM shot in the waist and she's paralyzed after giving up her crime-fighting crusade, which was the whole point of giving her the story. That, that's what I'm trying to say. So Act 2 and 3 begins and it's the killing joke graphic novel as we all know and love, but it's not the way we know and love it. It, it doesn't grasp the tone that the original does, which is it, it makes you sympathize for the Joker as this schmuck trying to just get ahead in life because he's on the ropes and Commissioner Gordon is now taken, held captive by this madman who is unpredictable and he's trying to push Commissioner Gordon into madness and you don't know if Batman's gonna show up in time and Batman has to face his own demons and his own humanity and his own being on the edge of insanity and crossing that line into madness. So one of the things that I think DC does a little bit better than Marvel is clashing egos and having moral discussions and what to do in tense situations. But one of the things I think Marvel does better is making them come across with a little more humanity. And when DC tries to do it, it sounds like a nerdy writer imitating someone who actually does say these things naturally and more hip. And that's clear in The Killing Joke, let me tell you. Their gay friend, oh my god, girlfriend, he is so predictable. And Barbara Gordon obsessing over this guy and not getting her approval that she wants and needs and going crazy. Oh my god, come on. And then Batman just always being an asshole. Always. And everything just seemed like it was just spoon fed straight to you. You knew it was coming. Here comes the choo choo train. And I think we as an audience should be given a little more respect. You have this classic graphic novel that everyone puts on their top 10 list. And instead of having the opportunity to add a bunch of meat around the bones, they're kind of tasked with being forced to put more meat on the bones and you can tell that it's work. It's not joy. So why is this important? Culture needs to reflect reality and reality in turn kind of reflects the culture and it pushes it and moves it around and forces us to think in new ways and act in different ways in turn. I want to know how would I react if I were to have one earth shattering reality breaking day and how would you react? but instead you're just left wanting more and knowing what you could get from a Batman movie. But I still enjoyed it, I gotta say. It was still the killing joke, which is hard to mess up. 
But if you're gonna add to it, you gotta add to it. I was just a little disappointed that instead of getting something fresh and inspired, I got something a little uninspired. And that's why I think I gotta give this movie maybe like a C. Well, that's my review. I look forward to doing more in the future. In the meantime, you can go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash diesel time. You can also go to rasquacheart.com and kalakakomic.com if you want to see more of what I'm doing. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I look forward to hearing from you in the comments. Hasta luego, pinche pendejos.